Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have them all covered for you. Before we get started with the NBA picks for January the 30th, I want to remind you to join the VIP club section so you have all access to all these tools to help you make your picks and win every time. So as we're a quarter of the way through the NBA season, there are plenty of good matchups in store for you for the, uh, the 30th. And we're going to get started and looking at some of these. So if you scroll down through here, you'll see some of the games. Houston Rockets and New Orleans Pelicans. We're not going to take a look at that one, but we're going to take a look at this one, the Milwaukee Bucks and the Charlotte Hornets. The Bucks are second in the Eastern Conference, and the Hornets are 12th with a record of 7 and 11. You see that Milwaukee's burning hot at the moment, and Charlotte with a dead status. Over the last six games, the Bucks are 4 and 2, and the Hornets have lost their last two and won in five over their last six. You look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the Bucks hold a huge plus 22 to plus 5 edge in that category. Head to head, the teams have not yet met this season. If you're considering the over and under in this game, notice that the Bucks are playing in games trending under the line, as are the Hornets, so it's best to bet the under in this one. Expect a defensive low scoring battle. We want to see how consistent the two teams have been according to their favorite underdog status. We take a look at the team volatility oscillator. Milwaukee is very consistent at plus six, and Charlotte is very inconsistent at minus four. Notice that there is no line yet set for this game, so we want to take a look at the line later on to see what's going on as far as that goes. But I think the Bucks are just too strong, and they will overtake Charlotte. Doesn't matter what the line is going to be. Doesn't matter that they're playing on the road. They will win and cover. Portland at Chicago. Portland is fifth in the Western Conference, and the Bulls are battling for the last playoff seed in the East. The Bulls won the first meeting between these two teams, as you notice right here, as a road underdog by a 111 to 108 score. Both teams are averaged down at the moment. The Bulls are losing their last two. Portland, uh, well, there are alternating wins and losses. They are three and three over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here's a huge advantage for Portland at plus 21, 2 plus 10 for Chicago. Again, we always like to consider the over and under in these games. So you can see Portland is playing in games trending under, Chicago playing in games trending over. Usually when that occurs, I avoid betting the over and under. If you would bet the over and under, you might want to take a little bit of a gamble on betting the over just because the Bulls are playing in games trending over. How stable are the two teams? Volatility Oscillator, once again, you can see that Portland is at plus four, Chicago is at plus two. So both teams are at least moderately to more than moderately stable, performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status would indicate. Chicago is the home team, but I think Portland just has too much skill. Their backcourt is just too dynamic. They will win the game and they will cover. Again, there is no line set for this one, so you might want to check back uh, later, tomorrow, or even Saturday. Uh, morning to check the lines on this one. Look at the next one. We've got the Lakers and the Celtics. This is the matchup of the day. This is a long standing rivalry going way back. And we'll take a look at this one. Both teams are not playing particularly well at the moment. The Lakers are only a uh, half game behind, though, in the Western Conference. They are coming off a loss, though. You can see that they lost to Philadelphia, and they have won three out of the last five. Their average status at the moment, the Celtics are ice cold down, coming off a loss, and they are two and four over their last six. Look at the power ranking indicator. You see the Lakers have a plus 28 to plus 25 edge in that category. Head to head, the two teams have not yet met this season. We're considering the over and under. Look at this. We got the Lakers playing in games trending under the line. Celtics playing in games trending over over the line. So again, this is one game where I'd probably avoid betting the over and under. If you look at the consistency factor. Los Angeles very very consistent at plus nine. Boston at plus two. 
Boston is at home. We don't know what the line is going to be. Either Boston is going to be a very slight favorite or a little bit of an underdog. I'm guessing that the Lakers will probably be a road favorite. They were a road favorite against Philadelphia, even though they lost. They were a four-point favorite. And Philadelphia has a better record than Boston. So I'm, I'm guessing that the Lakers will probably be a favorite. So I think that the Lakers will come on top with a road win. The Memphis Grizzlies at the San Antonio Spurs. Both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Grizzlies are 8th in the Western Conference. And San Antonio is currently 7th. Look at head-to-head. -head. The two teams did meet back on December 23rd. And San Antonio won easily. A 12-point road win as a road dog. Look at the power ranking indicator. Memphis is at plus 21. San Antonio is at plus 16. Wasn't too long ago that uh, Memphis, well, went too long ago that San Antonio actually was way ahead in, of Memphis as far as that goes. You can see how the trends have changed. Considering the over and under, way under the line here for Memphis and way under the line here for San Antonio. This is a very strong indication to bet the under. It's going to be a low-scoring game. Under is the way to go. The consistency factor, as we always like to take a look at that. Eh, both teams are moderately stable, not anything that would be overwhelming as far as you being a, a sure thing as far as betting for uh, a winner just based on the favorite underdog status, but that's something to take into consideration. Again, the line isn't posted yet for this game, so check back later. But I think the score is going to be closer than it was the last time, but I still think the Spurs will win the game, especially playing at home. The last game we're going to take a look at it's the Phoenix Suns and the Dallas Mavericks. The Suns and Ma Mavericks are both on the outside of the top eight seeds, and they're looking in. Look at the head-to-head -head matchup. You can see that back on December 23rd, that Phoenix won the meeting as a home favorite by four points. In the power ranking indicator, both teams are on a downward trend, but Phoenix is at plus 14 compared to plus eight for Dallas. Again, you can see the status is dead for Phoenix, an ice cold down for the Mavericks. Phoenix has lost five out of their last six, and Dallas has lost four out of their last six. So something has to give here. Somebody has to get back on track. The over and under scenario, you see Phoenix is playing in games trending over the line. Dallas is playing in games trending under the line, the black line compared to the blue line. So since they're on opposite sides, I would again probably avoid betting the over and under on this one. How consistent have the two teams been? Well, not at all. So if you can see here, they're both in the negative. So do not really consider their favorite underdog status when betting on this game. So in the end, what do I think is going to happen in this one? Well, again, there's no line posted. The lines probably will be posted the day before, which would be tomorrow. If not, check again on Saturday morning. I think this game's pretty much a coin flip, to be honest. But I think the Dallas Mavericks will win. They're playing at home. They will probably win the game by a few points so that will as far as betting the um you know favorite or underdog betting the line it's best to try to wait until you see what the point spread is going to be okay so there you have it those are the five games for the week that we want to take a look at so happy betting hopefully you will win big and i know you will as long as you take advantage of these great tools we have and we will see you next week